Thank you. So how do we know that um, renewable energy is 100% renewable? And what do we mean by proper tracking? So um, here we need to talk about um, certificates, tracking certificates. They are also called EACs, Energy Attribute Certificates. Here you see a visual showing a very complicated grid where um, electricity comes from many different sources. Among these also are renewable energy sources, but also other, you know, coal power plants or nuclear or, you know, any source of electricity. And in the grid, basically, these are mixed. So electricity is a commodity. It is a product but not a tangible product we can buy in the market, right? So we need to identify um, the renewableness of electricity, let's say. So um, the certificates come into play um, on this aspect. And you can think of these certificates as like a person's ID or a passport. So these certificates basically help us identify renewable electricity. So in EU countries, these are called GOs. It stands for Guarantee of Origin. And in North America, they are called RECs, which stands for Renewable Electricity Certificate. And outside of these two regions, over 30 countries, there are IRECs being used, which means um, International Renewable Electricity Certificate. And some countries have their national certificate schemes. And uh, But all of these certificates basically uh, fulfill the same purpose, which is to identify renewable electricity. And these certificates include information if electricity is, you know, wind or solar. And it also gives consumer the right to claim um, consumption of renewable electricity. So after having these certificates, the consumer can say, yes, we have, for example, 10 um, megawatt hours of electricity, like we have used this renewable. So this electricity is wind or solar. And um, so the energy attribute certificates, also called tracking certificates, make renewable energy available for any kind of consumer, uh, either local, small companies or large multinationals, corporates. Um, it, saves, it serves the same purpose. And adhering to a standard for, uh, stand, uh, for these certificates simplifies the choice for consumers and it increases their trust when they choose renewables. Because no matter which um, through which uh, supplier you buy your electricity, you need to have a proof. Uh, and the proof is um, something you use in your communication activities or for your reporting um, initiatives. And if you calculate your carbon footprint, for example, for a scope two calculation, which is for purchased electricity, you will need to show proof of your renewable energy consumption. And um, basically the EACs are a framework. So they are the very basic tool which market players can build upon. Um, so even if you choose to make a PPA, you need to have these certificates so that uh, double counting is avoided. Double counting means um, only one consumer claims um, makes claims on a certain volume of electricity. So it is not two consumers making claims over the same generation. So avoiding double counting means the consumer has full rights to own basically the um, renewable energy consumption. And on the uh, bottom right side, you see um, how our eco-label works. I said a little while ago that these certificates work as ID cards or passports. So the eco-label is an additional um, mark of quality. You can consider it as like a diploma or a certificate for a training. And only when the consumer chooses to buy renewables with the eco-energy label, it becomes eco-energy labeled. So we don't label generation, we label the consumption. Um, and this is basically to highlight the choice consumers have. And after making this choice, consumers can use the logo on their products. Next slide, please. 